What's up, y'all? You all have tapped in with Black Goddess Intuitive Healer, and I'm here to bring you all messages for the sign of Leo. What's up, y'all? Look, so this has been a uh, different energy, okay? This energy is kind of... Okay, so y'all could have been feeling... Leo, y'all could have been feeling hella stagnant um, the past couple weeks. The past couple weeks, um, y'all was feeling stagnant. I feel like it took a lot of a lot for y'all to release and let go of a lot of different things in y'all life. That's what could have caused the stagnancy as well. We already know y'all person caused a lot of stagnancy overall on this journey. But I'm talking about y'all, Leo. Okay? I feel like with the pain that y'all endured from this person, it caused y'all to kind of fall back. It caught it to go into Hermit and, and analyze everything and do the necessary healing work to get to where it is that y'all are today. And that's pretty good energy, Leo. I really truly feel like y'all have just like, y'all was tired of this shit. Y'all been tired of this journey. I'm going to just say this. I hear somebody saying like, I give up. Like, I, I, I hear somebody saying, I give up on this twin flame journey and I'm over it. Like, I'm hearing like, y'all like, hell no. Like, I know my worth. I'm an empress and I'm in this energy and what I've, I, and then y'all don't be wanting to look down on nobody. Okay. In these situations, y'all have to look past people. You know what I'm saying? Because initially we still got to move on love and forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? We can't move in energy like, eh. you know, I'm sometimes we have to be balanced as well because I know for a fact I get petty like that. I do. I get, I'm going to just be honest because I'm very transparent on my channel to my soul tribe members. Y'all know I'm transparent. You know what I'm saying? If if I'm lacking somewhere, y'all gonna know. You know what I'm saying? E even with like the people that I deal with now, I let them know like uh, money kind of crabby right now. You know what I'm saying? I didn't invest it into my business and et cetera. <laughs> y'all don't ever feel. I was even feeling bad because I felt like I didn't have enough. Okay. And that is just the. Uh, the new energy kicking in, really, as far as my situation go, okay? Because I've always been, like, the go-getter type, you know what I'm saying? And then I had people in my life, friends, family members, you know, the people that I was kind of codependent on, you know what I'm saying? We all have... We all have had those ones that we have been codependent on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't never feel embarrassed for y'all y'all flaws and y'all lack y'all lacks and things that y'all might be lacking within yourselves. Okay, this is only for a few people that I'm this message is for. Do never be ashamed to persevere. If it's money, love, status, it doesn't matter. Continue to move forward, Leo. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow no energy or no energy of depression or energy of sadness or energy of lack or burden to make you feel like you are not worthy of this journey, that you're not worthy of your twin flame, that you're not worthy to have children. Yes, you are. You're worthy to do anything in this lifetime for your highest good that's going to complete this mission. That's just period. Okay. So don't ever feel embarrassed about maybe having an issue in your life where you know you got to persevere. That's what these issues and, and, and these mountains that we have to climb and these problems we have to overcome. That's how we persevere. That's initially how we get the strength to keep going. Okay. I'm also what I'm also channeling the song by Neo. I don't know why Neo been so lit. Neo and Usher been lit as hell lately in my channelings. So, um, some of y'all could have went to bed last night pissed off, okay? Some of y'all might have not even been able to sleep last night. I feel like y'all could have gotten communication from y'all person and or a person. It could have been a family member. I'm hearing it was a family member too, Leo, that y'all could have gotten some type of communication that kind of triggered y'all, okay? I really truly feel with that Neo song, it was more like, a lover and or a soulmate or I feel like this could have been y'all twin contacting y'all and kind of was still in this um, low vibrational energy and or this could be about to happen. Okay, so y'all done, excuse me, y'all have done a lot of work. 
okay, on yourselves. Ain't no need to be still getting triggered, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not easy when you hearing certain shit that got you disgusted or that's got your stomach like, did he do that for, he did that shit for real? Like, nah, he ain't do that. Like, and then here y'all go passing judgment on y'all gifts and shit. Like, y'all don't know that this man or whoever, like, y'all don't know y'all twin be in this type of energy. Okay, it's a lot of shit that y'all be in disbelief about. Believe that shit. Okay, because y'all are highly gifted. Y'all are tapped into y'all psychic abilities. I'm hearing clairvoyance, clairaudience. Like, I can hear my guides now. I actually hear them talking to me now. Like, I lit a, um, a purity candle on my altar last night. And I didn't know, I didn't realize how tired I was. And, you know, I'm vibing and I'm, like, you know, doing my little thing. And then I ended up falling asleep. Here it is, I wake up at 2, 3 in the morning, and my candle is out. This candle is out. I'm like, damn, I know I had this lit, because I like to burn my purity candles all through the night, and however long they're going to burn. My ancestors blew that candle out, because I had fell asleep. So, <clears throat> I don't know if y'all are experiencing these type of things, but I have been able to see that my guys and my ancestors have been protecting me here on this journey. Even little protection. I mean, that's big protection to blow out a candle. You know what I'm saying? One of my, I feel like this was one of my older ancestors blew that candle out. Because it gave me grandma vibes. It gave me big mama vibes. Like, girl, you know you ain't supposed to leave that candle uh, lit like that overnight. So when I initially, I'm like, damn, I thought I, uh, I, thought I had that lit. I heard a feminine ancestor say, I blew it out because you fell asleep. You know you ain't supposed to leave that candle lit like that. So this was uh, this was Big Mama. Big Mama came through about the candle, period. <laughs> I love my spirit team. I love my ancestors. They, they do definitely come through for me. And they don't play about me. Okay, and y'all spirit team and ancestors don't play about y'all either, Leo. Yes, I have my PJs on. Anyway, we are going to get in the cards. So, yeah, but about the song, Neo. It's, you know, the song, and I don't want to go to bed mad at you. I also feel like y'all person could be mad at y'all as well because y'all didn't completely cut y'all energy off from this person. Let's see what's in the tarot. And, yes, I'm using the tarot today, okay? I bought this deck a couple weeks ago. And I've been, you know, I've been working with this deck. You know what I'm saying? Not every deck going to work with you. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been working with this deck. And I do feel like it's time for me to switch some things up around here, which I don't have a problem with because my psychic abilities, hell, I could read this wall. You know what I'm saying? So my abilities have heightened. And I, you know, they heighten. They lit around. The gifts is lit. That's just period. All right, for Leo, benevolent ancestors come through at this time. Protect us as I channel mess. Protect me as I channel messages for the sign of Leo. All placements. What goes around comes around, Leo. It's judgment season, so we still in that energy. We still in that judgment season energy. This this energy ain't gonna just leave all fast and shit, okay? <laughs> but anyway, we are also. We're in the energy of judgment. It's karma season. Good karma is coming back and bad karma is coming back as well. We are also in the energy of shadow work. <coughs> Excuse me. We are also in the energy of, of shadow work. Okay, so that means being able to stay balanced within our light and dark. Being able to balance out our shadow. Remember, Leo, we got gifts in our shadow. And that is why it's important to know how to use those gifts in your shadow as well. A lot of y'all, 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 I'm hearing this one, one or two of y'all main gift is in y'all shadow. And y'all scared of y'all shadow. Y'all got to do the shadow work so y'all can get balanced. All y'all gifts could be balanced. Okay, Leo, don't be afraid of your shadow. Like I, I sleep in the dark now. I sleep in the dark now. Like my whole house be dark. Sometimes I might have a few candles lit, but you know, the ancestors, they be blowing them out. <laughs> like, no, you won't go to sleep on this candle. But um, yeah, so yeah. So we are in the energy of shadow work. May even if y'all don't feel like y'all need to do it, do it anyway. Okay, y'all are fire signs. Sometimes y'all get off balance. Sometimes we'll be mad about some shit and then we 
initially need to do some shadow work, okay? So with that, Neo, I feel like some of y'all went to bed last night in y'all heads, okay? Maybe y'all were doing some type of assessment. Maybe y'all could have meditated and seen some shit and it pissed y'all off. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's, I'm channeling for some people that kind of is like, not even going to say kind of, like extremely tapped in a tarot, okay? Y'all person could be tapped in a tarot too. This person could be, uh, this person has lied to y'all about a lot of shit. Y'all know that already. This person is trying to make things right with this situation, okay? Benevolent ancestors, show us what we need to see for the uh, sign of, it could be an Aries I was going to say Aries. It could be an Aries very significant to this situation. Okay. You could be, um, this, your twin could definitely be an Aries and, or they could have an Aries very external to this situation. Okay. So with the Prince of Cups, we got the Prince of Cups. So to me, that's like the Page of Cups. That's emotions. Somebody feeling, um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of emotions off this Prince of Cups. You know, this is the Page of Cups. Okay, so somebody is wanting to come in and apologize here. I also feel like Leo, because it's judgment season, I also feel like you could be triggering your person and or others that may have caused some type of pain. Because y'all done threw a tower in here. Y'all done caused some type of tower in somebody's life here. Okay, so this is the Prince of Cups. So somebody is in regret here, and they're wanting to come in and 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 plead some type of case and try to get some type of forgiveness for you from you excuse me remember forgiveness is for you leo it's not for this person forgiveness is not for anybody else it's not for them okay so don't feel like if you forgiven a person don't ever feel like oh well i don't forgave this person no mm -mm, my nose itching i'm finna start channeling um Like I said, be forgiving. Let this person go. Because if y'all are continuing to be triggered by this person, y'all want to be mad and shit, that means y'all still got some healing work to do. Let's just be clear. You know what I'm saying? Because I tried my I tried my best not to go to bed upset with, with anyone, not even upset with myself. I pray, you know, I, I be tapped into my prayers. And sometimes I sit and I be talking to my spirit guys like, I'm not mad at nobody, spirit. Like, I'm not mad at nobody. I'm very, I'm, I've am i always been a forgiving individual. I ain't never held no grudges towards nobody. So it's not in my nature to even hold grudges. So I'm getting for some of you Leos, it's not even in y'all nature to hold a grudge towards a person. But y'all are disgusted. Some of y'all are disgusted, you know. And some of y'all are having a hard time getting past the shadow of things with your person because this person could definitely be triggered and still dealing this 3D behavior as well. So this person does, I feel like this person is currently, tap, I'm hearing, I just heard them say they're currently tapping into their shadow. So that's a good energy here. Okay, with the six of arrows in reverse, somebody wants to stop you from moving on. Somebody wants to come in and apologize, Leo, and stop you from moving on. I feel like since this judge, yep, they don't, somebody doesn't want to get left out in the cold here with the five of pentacles. Okay, that's the five of pentacles, five of coins. Okay, yep, and this is this winter too. I feel like, yep, it's a baby here. Yep, it's a baby here. So, yeah, let me show y'all. It's a baby here. So, if you were inquiring, okay, for some of y'all, this person left y'all to be a single parent, okay? They could have left y'all in the cold. This person wants to... Here we go. This person wants to apologize for ghosting you pretty much. And now they're trying to come in and stop you from moving forward because they feeling left out in the cold here. Your person could also be a single parent here because I'm hearing that... For some of y'all, Leo, whoever this karmic is and or baby mama, I'm hearing that this, whoever this is, this, this is very significant. This person ain't even finna be able to take care of this baby. That's some, that's sad. Somebody, somebody purposely got pregnant by your person. I'm hearing that it was a lot of spell work here. 
black magic, domination spells, fertility spells. For some of y'all, this person knows, this, this person does know about everything that this karmic has been doing. I feel like this person has awakened and now they're like, oh, hell no. Nah. They, <clears throat> they know what type of bond y'all share. They know what type of love y'all have in the midst of each other. This person could also be missing the children that y'all have in common. I'm getting that. Um, y'all could have two or three kids together. Um, for this person, I feel like this baby that's here, this baby was a secret. They also want to apologize about the secret, okay? Because I feel like you've had a conversation with this particular masculine. And y'all let this person know. I don't give a fuck what you do out there in the streets. Don't you bring me back no STD, no um, no baby mama that I got to beat up, or no babies. Them was the three things y'all asked this masculine. Because a lot of y'all knew this masculine was fucked up out in the streets and they dealt with other females. And some of y'all settled for this shit. And it's okay because I want it. I'm going to be very transparent, okay, with y'all. Because y'all know I don't keep shit from y'all. I was stupid. I played my stupid role. I knew that my baby daddy would have other peep, other options and people that when we got into it, I was happy he had somewhere to go. He ain't in the streets because that's the love that I had for my twin. I still love him. That's the, but I, yeah, well, we go, I'm not going to put the rest of that out there because what we got to handle, we got to handle through the most high. That's just period. So I don't be trying to really involve people. When it comes to my twin flame situation, it's really, really, really sensitive. It's this, it's sensitive for the both of us because we have several past lives. Okay, so now he's awakening to this situation, but a lot of y'all masculines have awakened to this situation. They're feeling some type of way. They like, damn, I feel like spirit could have been showing y'all past, showing this person past lives with y'all. Like y'all were married in past lives and all kinds of shit. See, people don't understand them past life connections. And that's why it was so much pain in the midst of this shit. It was like deja vu. Like y'all had just, like, y'all was feeling all that pain from y'all past lives too. That should awaken some pain from a past life. Y'all had to do some intense ass healing, Leo. Like literally. So yes, this person could be feeling left out in the cold. I feel like y'all could be leaving this person out in the cold. Okay, with the three of coins, this person wants to work with you and wants to bring you some type of stable offer here with the king of coins. Okay. So here is the three of coins. I'm showing y'all the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the king of coins. Somebody is trying to come in and make a stable offer here and work with you. I feel like this person could see what you're working on. I feel like they initially know what this journey is about. And they're wanting to come in and apologize here because they don't want you walking away. They don't want you to leave them out in the cold. This person is in deep regret. They are trying to get stable with the king of coins here. It could be um, an earth sign here with all these pinnacles out here. Capricorn, Virgo, and or Taurus. Show us what we need to see for the Leo. All placements. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join the tribe if you're vibing with your girl. Just period. Yep, somebody's in regret here with the Five of Cups. Okay, yes. This is a man here. All these cups is... Let's see. Because these could have been third parties. These, these Them cups that's on the ground right there, Leo. Those were third parties that didn't work. So this person went and chose energies, thought they could find something better than you. And that's why this person wants to apologize in the five of cups. Regret. Okay, so we got two cups here. So I feel like this person could still be trying to juggle a situation. They could be trying to remove themselves from a situation. But I do feel like this karmic is retarded. Okay, but for some of y'all, this karmic not even finna be able to care for this baby. They not finna be able to care for this baby. I'm hearing that this person was doing crown chakra magic. Messing with um, y'all's crown chakra, doing magic on y'all and doing magic on uh, y'all masculines. This particular energy, this karmic, was also throwing magic on y'all kids. Don't kill her. Spirit is saying that's what's... That's what's gonna trigger y'all the most. I've been, I feel like y'all been hearing that this bitch been throwing magic at y'all babies. Okay, I feel like this.
feminine energy also was spending money here. Somebody lost out on a lot of money here. Your masculine could have lost out on the money here too with the ace of coins in reverse because this bitch wanted to uh, hire practitioners and shit. And these same practitioners judgment, they losing out on their shit too. So that's why y'all got to stop doing that shit, that black magic shit, because y'all want to keep a man or get pregnant. Then y'all don't even get to take care of the baby. Y'all been left that man here having to take care of this baby, the karmic child, because that's exactly what it is. People don't want to be... People don't want to be labeled as what they are. But if you're in this energy and you jealous and you manipulative and you got to do black magic to keep a twin flame from his rightful connection. And now here it is. You trying to ruin this man's life. And now the feminine don't even want no parts of her masculine no more. Like seriously. And that's where a lot of this judgment comes from. From that kind of shit. People doing fuck shit behind y'all back and shit like that. Shit that they ain't even have to do. Like, you wanted that nigga, you could have had him. You throwing magic at um, these people and they kids and shit. Y'all don't think y'all finna have to pay for that. Doing death rituals and shit. That's why she ain't finna be able to take care of this baby. I don't think this karma got a lot of time to live. Let's just be clear. And I've been getting that energy heavy. Somebody's sick. Somebody is dying here. And I feel like it got a lot to do with that black magic backfire. Because it's the time for it. For Leo. Okay, we 21 minutes in. That's good. I say I was only going to do y'all 10 minutes. But this reading is one of... It's lit. It's lit. We're going to um, get out of these. Get out of the tarot. And then we are going to grab Mystic B. Mystic Beauty. One of my favorite readers. The official, her official unofficial messages, okay? So we got the, the Prince of Staff. Somebody wants to come in here and try to make you a small offer. I also feel like this person wants to come and learn something new here. I feel like this person wants to move forward here. Like, uh-uh. Okay, we got the Queen of Coins. They see you over here stable. They see you over here stable. You single, you over here getting your wishes fulfilled here. And this person is awakening to this shit. They're awakening to their empress and they can't believe it. They trying to release a bird in here with the ten of staves in reverse. Somebody is trying to release a bird in here. And that's the truth with the ace of um, arrows. That's the ace of swords. So, yes, that's the truth. This person is trying to release burdens. They've awakened. Somebody want to apologize here. I love this energy. They know with the queen of um, staffs, this was a queen of wands in reverse. So this could have been a, um, this could have been a Sagittarius, Leo and or Aries involved in this situation. This karmic energy could be a fire sign, but this queen of wands is in the reverse. So this is somebody that is just promiscuous. Okay that keep a couple options that you ain't they highly sexual this could be a sex worker as well okay i'm hearing prostitution i'm hearing stripper um exotic dance this person don't take care of their vagina here it is this person done released this illusion they've awakened we got illusion in the reverse so this person is not being yep somebody stepped in their power Somebody stepped in their power here. This masculine is stepping in their power. For some of y'all, this masculine is empowered. Okay, they want to sit next to their empress. That's just period. They want to sit next to their empress. Somebody taking control over their life here because they done broke the illusion here. They done, they done broke this illusion. Okay, but this person does want to come in. But with the four of pentacles, they are holding back. They're holding back. I feel like they're holding back from this karmic as well but i feel like your person could definitely be working on themselves somebody ain't sleeping right somebody up all night i feel like this person wakes up and be trying to watch you okay i feel like they knew with the six of staffs i feel like this person is not getting wishes fulfilled they things aren't happening for them they trying to come and get victory here they didn't get victory in the situation here with this um this karmic energy and or fake false empress here Okay, yep, they know they're going to get success with you. You are the empress, okay? They see you over here getting this success. They see you over here in your empress energy and you're not playing, 
Okay? You make the sacrifice to move forward on your journey, Leo, which is amazing. All right, one more. And then we're going to get into Mystic B's Oracle. It's judgment season, spirit. Show us what we need to see. Okay, the Ten of Arrows. So somebody, I feel like y'all have healed from this betrayal with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And or you all are healing. Okay. Somebody was trying to get away with some shit. Somebody was trying to get away with backstabbing you. This person wants to come and apologize for backstabbing you with the Seven of Stabs here. And um, wait a minute. Yeah, betrayal is backstabbing, okay? That's somebody healing from a betrayal, the seven of wands in reverse. Okay, so it's some slow movement here with the seven of wands. Let me look at this card. These is new to me, y'all. So, yeah, that part. Yeah, they want you to come out of defense. They want you to stop being so defensive towards them, okay? Something here wasn't transforming with transformation in the reverse, Leo, because this person was juggling this, this toxic, nasty-ass karmic, okay? And they passed up their fortune here. They passed up their fortune here. Could have been a Scorpio, Cancer, and or Pisces also inv involved in this situation with, these cup, with this cup energy, okay? And I also feel like they know that you're fortunate. They know that you're highly fucking intuitive. They know that you're loving. You got the real love here. And this person knew. He that Once this person awakened to what the hell was going on, they got to contemplate on whether they wanted to stay or leave and i also feel like this y'all energy too y'all could have been kind of play contemplating on allowing this energy back in y'all lives but until y'all started finding out certain shit here with the wisdom card and i feel like that's also the high priestess card y'all know certain shit that y'all y'all it's kind of hard for y'all to get past but y'all done forgave this person with no damn closure okay one more okay we're 2016 one more y'all done forgave a situation here with no closure. And now this person is oppressed. Somebody's having to heal a situation here. I feel like y'all had to recover from all this damn pain here with the four arrows and the upright. Okay, because y'all was oppressed by this betrayal. Y'all felt some type of way about this betrayal. Okay, a lot of uh, all of y'all not healing. Some of y'all are healed, and some of y'all are still going through a recovery stage here with the four of swords here. Okay, let's get out the tarot. Let's get into Mystic Bees. We're going to use these next few minutes because I do not want to go into a part two. For Miss, okay. Shout out to Mystic Beauty and her wonderful, beautiful channel. Thank you, Mystic Beauty. Okay, so, um, yeah, because this is these are her cards. All right. It says, Leo, it says, you've healed enough, now unblock me. So y'all can have this person blocks on every platform, but I'm hearing that this person makes um, fake accounts, okay? So every platform that you have, Leo, this person has a fake account to you. This person could even be interacting with you from a fake account, and y'all just don't be paying attention to that shit. Some of y'all guys be on that shit, though. They, some of these comments don't even come through from these uh, fake accounts. Some of them comments are even blocked. Yep. Okay, so I feel like with self-love, y'all are tapped in. Y'all know y'all work here. So some of y'all ain't finna unblock this person because y'all are healing and working on y'all self-love. Y'all focusing on y'all finances and y'all stability here with this self-love. I also feel like y'all know this person knows that this is a divine connection here. And I feel like everybody around or that's been gossiping or in the midst of this situation, they know what it is. I feel like this person does watch you and think about you a lot. I, like I was saying before I even got into Mystic B's deck, I had already said that this person wakes up thinking about you. This person goes to sleep thinking about you. I feel like you played this person's dreams, Leo, and that's for damn sure. Okay, so this person does think about you a lot. For Leo. Okay, so this person doesn't want to stay away from you. This person wants to come in. That's for damn sure. Spiritual growth. Okay, so this person is working on themselves with spiritual growth. It says, I almost let them destroy our connection. So this was a, 
a whole this was some karmics involved in here almost let them destroy our connection okay i'm a this person is trying to release sec, uh, that came out in the reverse so i'm gonna just keep it in reverse so at some point this person could have been addicted to y'all sexually leo i feel like overall this person was dealing with some type of addictions here they are working on this addiction okay show me what i need to see more yep yeah, they were addicted to having sex with hoes more chuchos for the ho hoes, them easy hoes, the ones that was bending over, busting it wide open, having threesomes, orgies, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, more chuchos for the ho hoes. So this person could have been paying for sex. It says, please save a spot for me in your heart. So this person is in regret about doing all this bullshit that they did. They know that they know who you are. They know who you are, Leo. A few more. I'm gonna get out of here. It says, your rejection would destroy me. I don't care. I, on some real shit, I'm hearing this person say, I don't care about none of that. This person's still finna come in and try you. That's just period, Leo. And, and some of y'all could reject this person. And some of y'all could take this person back and y'all could have some hot sex. Who knows? Um, yep. It wasn't no, it wasn't an energy that could match your energy, just period. This person went looking for you and others and did not succeed here. And now they stalking and looking at your pictures every day, Leo. All right, so take this energy as it resonates. I love you all so much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourselves, Leo. Do the shadow work. Cross worker. Cross watcher. Cross worker. Cross worker. Cross watcher. Do the shadow work, okay? All right? And there is no love loss. Do the shadow work. They go for all y'all, karmic feminines, all y'all. Do some shadow work. Change y'all damn lives.